well, it's getting to be about that time of year again to go after Rudolph here in the Hunter Classic. I figure at least if I shoot him now, he'll have time to recover before he has to pull Santa's sleigh here in a few weeks. But the plan is to do my normal reindeer trek. Just head up along this road and see if we can get some calls from some males, bring them in. Maybe we can just get a Rudolph by doing that. Otherwise, we'll have to branch off after we do that. But I did enter a couple of competitions for this map. I think there's a heaviest moose from a tower. Highest scoring reindeer, which of course is the main one we're going to do, and I don't even remember what the other one I entered was, but when there are major competitions or events running, that's usually a good time to do the normal comps, like the ones that I've entered here, because everyone's focused on the event. I think the largest reindeer right now is 565, which is rather beatable, so we'll see if we can manage that on our trek to get a Rudolph for the lodge. I have, by the way, pretty much abandoned the main event. I mean, I'm doing the missions and stuff along the way, but I wish there was a an ideal way of making a event that is not just straight up RNG, like not whoever just harvests the highest scoring animal, but also isn't just whoever puts the most amount of hours in, because obviously not everyone has the amount of hours to do that, uh, and therefore they just really have no chance in the event. So I don't really know what would be ideal, but yeah, I've kind of just moved on to hunting stuff. Of course, trying to do the other competitions while people are focused on that event. And the occasional moose brain shot to stay sharp works as well. So, uh, not too encouraging that the first thing we have up here is a moose. We might have a moose spawn, which is going to throw off our reindeer. But you never know. You don't usually get reindeer right here close to the lodge either. Surprised I hit that, to be honest. I usually screw that up. Go away! Now I'm afraid we really do have a moose spawn. This might take a while. Hello? That's a palnate. Can't tell if that's like a huge moose or just a decent one. What do we got for an estimate? Okay, 205 to 225. Uh, he's not going to have a red nose, but I do believe we have to shoot that. You know, every time I play this game recently... Like, if I'm not recording, I tend to find something at least somewhat cool. I mean, I had a 208 moose, I think is the last hunt I was in. I had a piebald white-tailed doe right before that. There was a night where I killed a piebald uh, white-tailed buck and a big non-typical buck. But that's like when I'm not recording, or the last two I said I actually tried to record and it got screwed up. But every single time I press record when I'm going to actually try to make a video, it just like nothing big ever shows up. If I'm not recording, it just kind of materializes in front of me, so quite refreshing to see that coming. And I do think that might be somewhat upper end of that score estimate. He looks pretty solid to me. I don't know. I can't judge Moose, but that seems to be a rather good looking one. I mean, I if I had to guess, I'm going to put him right at 215 because every really solid Moose I shoot is 215 these days. Like, I've got a bunch of 215s or 216s mounted. Can't wait to screw up this shot, because I managed to brain shot a female. It'll be interesting to see how this gets screwed up. Yeah, that looks quite good, actually. Whenever you're ready, sir. Thank you. I didn't screw it up. Imagine that. By the way, are you guys getting that thing where crossbow scope uh, stays up until you scope out? I have auto reload on, but that's a thing. Yeah, I'm still going 215 just because that's what always happens. Was that moose going to charge me? It was going down the, down there. 221. I do believe I have to mount that. I think that would be the biggest one in my trophies lodge. I've got that 235 from the trophy hunting series, which I still need to bring back. Uh, Kind of didn't mean for that to die, but eventually that'll be back. But I think this would be basically my second biggest one that'll go in a lodge. That's quite nice. Cool. Go ahead and mount that. And, uh, hi. How's it going? Anybody gonna charge me? So here's what I mean. That is actually really useful, especially with this reverse shot crossbow. The ability to shoot like 100 meters without too much of an issue. It's going to be huge for seeing if you are missing, like where the arrows or the bolt is landing, or just seeing if the animal drops or takes off. That's actually what I assume is a, a feature and not a bug. And if it is a bug, I hope they don't change it, because 
I quite like that. And a present. Ah. Would have been cool if I could have dropped the moose on top of the present for a trophy shot. But either way, I'm pretty much happy with the hunt now. Doesn't necessarily matter if we get a root off, but yeah, it would be nice. That's a reindeer. I seem to remember a thing last year where there were actually, like, they're called ghost variants. There were female ones, but they didn't have a red nose. I can't tell this might actually be one. Okay. I guess that 9.3 round is not going to get to its lungs. I'm sure it's not going anywhere, but... Yeah. <laughs> we've gone about 2,000 meters, and we've had one solo female reindeer, so... I know a lot of you guys have used, like, the routes that I've, uh, taken in videos. This might not be the best one if you're trying to get Rudolph. I might end up doing, like, a reset, see if that helps. We're gonna hunt here for a while first, but... Yeah, I, I don't know if this was my best idea. Wait, that was even a lung hit? I really didn't think it would go anywhere. Are you normal, though? Kinda couldn't tell. Yeah, I think that's normal. I can't even remember. There was a very slight difference uh, from a normal female to the ghost. Oh, that was a competition. Uh, from the normal female to ghost female. So, not that it matters. I'm looking for one with a red nose anyway. This has to be a moose spawn. I mean, I, I really am trying to call in the males when I hear them. The competition is for the heaviest one. I think shot out of a tower, and I'm somewhat close to a tower, so... Had to check, but this guy had no chance. I think I need 6... 619 or 617. It's high, so... That one's not too likely, but if I happen to be by a tower and hear a male moose, of course I'm going to call it in. I could get lucky. We had... What was it? A 619.5? What was that even in? One of the recent videos. That's a reindeer. It is a male. And he's got a red nose. And he's dead. All right. So, 2,800 meters. First male reindeer is a Rudolph. I don't know if they're more common this year, but I know it took me much longer than this to actually get it last year. So, this hunt's been an absolute success. 395. I do believe I had a 400-something last time, but we'll stay on the hunt. Maybe we can get a bigger one. Does anyone have a 600-plus uh, Rudolph? That would be... Quite a cool sight to see. I also wish they would do like a a super rare like albino Rudolph just like every year they have it. Almost no one ever gets one, but it is a thing. That would be so much fun. Maybe they do. Maybe no one's ever got one, but I kind of doubt that. All right. Came for Rudolph. Got that and more with the 221 Moose. I'm not going to mount that yet just because maybe we'll get a bigger one. But in just under 45 minutes, we managed a 221 moose and a Rudolph. By the way, I did just start cutting. I was heading up to this little lake right here. And then what I'll probably do is I'll pass that and then I'm going to loop down and go into this ravine. That tends to be a good spot. But again, what usually is a good spot, this entire road turned up a total of like three reindeer. But at least one was what we were after. I'm so glad that this hunt went the way that it did with getting our Rudolph and the bonus monster moose because, I mean, this is a typical Hemeldahl hunt for me. It started pretty quick. We were getting animals pretty consistently. But since Rudolph, it's been 25 minutes and we finally have something else, that being a lynx, not even what we're here after, and I just decided to call it in because there's been nothing on the entire map. So really happy that it went that way because otherwise this would be just an absolute epic fail. I mean, if we just had... A small bull moose and a not Rudolph reindeer for the animals we got. This would have been one of the worst hunts I've done. So really happy that it did work out. Let's see if we can pop this with the 357. That might have been right in the heart. That looked good. All right. Got to go get the color because I already know I will leave that behind and regret it later when I see a rare lynx or something and I don't have it but anyway that was indeed a hard shot 5.8 female quite tiny but kind of got a new plan I went along like the the top edge of that ravine didn't see anything so 
we're just gonna scoot up through here see if there's anything try to get one or two more kills and then probably wrap it up I mean, we got what we came here for I was just hoping maybe we could do one better and I just this is not a good reindeer spawn so uh we'll probably just cut our losses if there's nothing up here that's weird there's an animal on this map I'm starting to doubt their existence I think we're gonna have to shoot that. Is that darker than normal? Oh, why would I do that? That was way too far back. Bears are all kinds of screwed up. That was probably like straight up intestine, even though it was in what should be the lungs, but uh, that looked a little bit dark. It might have been the distance, and of course, it's like 6 p.m., so it makes it look weird. But the silver tip bears now, you can barely tell the difference. So, just in case. Had to shoot it. Hello? Who did I just... Oh, hi. Are you big? Uh, you actually are. Uh, well... Yeah, I'm shooting it off the ground. I could go back and get my shotgun or something. It's just not worth it. I don't care about the leaderboards. If it's something... Uh, worthy of being taxidermized? I'll do it. I don't really care too much about that. Ooh. Not bad. 754 is a, a decent one. She didn't make it very far. That actually was pretty far back, to be fair. Straight up intestine at 173 meters. 19.6 scoring female, but it led us to a pretty nice willow ptarmigan. I'll have to look. I might actually mount that, because I have... I've definitely got a white tail ptarmigan mounted. I've definitely got a rock ptarmigan mounted, so it wouldn't be a horrible idea, I don't think, to have one of each. And we have another bear. A decent male up to 26. I think we'll hopefully shoot that. Maybe hit it better than the last one. And that is probably going to do it, because I'm somewhat convinced my map is dead, and this might be the only animal left, so... Don't want to be running around looking for nothings. That's bound to be in one lung, I would think. Yeah, he is very dead. Actually, I almost don't even want to do this, but I found a herd of reindeer tracks on my way down here. And I guess we're going to follow him. The male was like 130 to 165, which is decent weight. It's enough to where it could be big. I mean, there's one of three options. It's going to be a small reindeer and an absolute disappointment, waste of time kind of deal. It could be big, and that's all great. Or it could be another Rudolph, and that's just, you know, good either way, I suppose, whether it's big or small. Got a whole herd coming in this time. Is that our male? I wish it wasn't. That is pathetic. That's actually not the one I'm tracking. He just kind of called as we were going along. We're just going to take care of that quickly. It's kind of a risk to begin with calling in pretty much anything else when you're on the trail of reindeer because they move so quickly and they can exit the reserve. So, yeah, I just, I have to check, especially when this isn't a max weight track. Obviously, that didn't pan out in the least, but not knowing what's over there would kind of just kill me. Wow. This is once again not the right one. Round two of random reindeer mail calling and turning out to be absolutely pathetic. I'm not so sure we're going to catch this one, to be honest, especially since I keep stopping because I hear it other males, but... If we do catch him, I do feel a little bit more optimistic that he might be decent because not every reindeer on the map could be really small. We haven't even had like a semi-decent one. So that does actually make me want to find him, but if he goes out of the reserve, I don't think I'm going to put in that kind of effort. Well, should have just quit. That's just amazing. Three male reindeer in the row are actually all smaller than the Rudolph we shot that I didn't mount because I was hoping we would get a bigger one. We didn't even get a bigger non-Rudolph reindeer. 
and I said 565 on that competition wasn't, or, or was, rather beatable. I don't know what I'm talking about because I couldn't even find a 400. But, I don't know if they actually fixed the, uh, the lodges thing. If they did, we'll go take a look at the moose and the Rudolph reindeer we did get. If they didn't, I guess we'll kind of just wrap it up. They certainly did fix it, and there we go. Last year's and this year's side by side. I'd like to get one, you know, that size maybe even better this year, but I didn't want to, you know, maybe get the only one I'll have and not mount them. So that's there. I did end up mounting that uh, ptarmigan as well, so we'll go jump into the other lodge quickly. Finally did end up with a moose bigger than 216 in this lodge. I've got a 216 here, and he actually replaced another 216 but 221 for that guy and then i've got my little ptarmigan wall going on here with the whitetail rock and willow i should probably get another one mounted just so it's not a gad wall there but i don't have one at the moment so that'll be for the future but i got a couple of nice additions to the lodge as well as to my surprise to be honest actually getting the rudolph taken out during the hunt i didn't actually think we'd manage that so yeah that went actually a lot better than I thought. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.